Welcome back to another episode of the No Gloves Podcast, where I am your host, Southern Cal, my co-host. Nine Millie. Hey, man, listen, man, before we get into this episode, I need y'all to please do me a solid favor and smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell so you will be among the first to be notified when we drop our latest YouTube content. We want to keep pushing out these episodes. So if you are feeling generous and you like what you see, you like what we doing, you feeling what we doing, you can relate to what we doing, then, hey, hit that cash out, man. All of that information will be in the description box below. Once we drop this episode, nine Millie, what's going on, bro? Yeah, man, just blessed to be here another day. Hey, man, every day you above know. ground is a good day, bro. Yeah, every day above sure. ground is a good day. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. So you know what I'm saying? You know, um, we just uh, you know, I'm, it's, it feel good to be back, bro. It feel oh, good yeah. to be back. You know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> um, you don't have to take that little time off. You know what I'm saying? Just had the little one. Yeah, for you sure. know what I'm saying? We just had the little one. And, um, you know, he was born the other night, born Friday night. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> you know, so shout out to my, my newborn son, Kanan, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, yeah, he a, a joy, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? A blessing, man. Kids are a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so, you yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you ain't, you ain't got long, bro. Nah, I don't. You ain't got long, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely don't. You know what I'm mean? Time you know? winding down. Yeah, time winding down, man. And, um... <laughs> You know, so it's just uh, it's it's a blessing, man. Blessing, to, you know, fatherhood is a blessing, bro. For you sure. know what I'm saying, and um, especially when you ain't had that growing up. You know what I'm saying when you ain't had that growing up, and it just feel good to be able to give your kids, you know, something you ain't have growing up, bro. You oh know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah. And, you know, because I don't never want my kids, I don't ever want my story to be my kid's story. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's just, uh, it's, it's a blessing, man. So I love all my kids, man. I got, you know, this is my third one, man. So I, you know, I love all my, you know what I'm saying? I love all mine just the same, you Respect. know? Respect. So it's a blessing, man. It's a blessing. But, uh, but anyway, man, what else been up? What else been up with you, bro? You know man, what I'm saying? Just, you know, just working, working, man. Working, take care of home. Trying to handle business, bro. Hey man, that's what we, that's what we all doing, bro. Trying, trying to take to handle care. business and, you know. Yeah, stay yeah. out the way. That was up, man. So, all right, we are gonna get right into it, man. So, um, so man, this 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 subject right here, man, this topic, bro, it just man, it's just something that I feel like it's an important topic, bro. Mm-hmm. And it's something that we were talking about, man, just when we were sitting around the fire, man. That that we come with all our our topics, bro, our ideas, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We sitting around that fire, man, and we talking like men. You get them talking about like we talking like grown men, and we talking about life stuff, bro, and. And we going over ideas and going over goals and all that, and on some of my stuff that we trying to do in life. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. And um, and we you know we just sat back, we reminisced on our on on our life, and um, back back in the day when we was rolling together, when we was a crew, when we was um, you know, we was rolling together in them streets, man. When we ran them streets, and uh, you know, cause we was all family. You know, somebody it wasn't just a uh, it wasn't just a. I wouldn't even call it game banging for real, for real. Nah, nah. I mean, we it, just it, we we wasn't no gang, man. Yeah, we wasn't no gang. We, we were just, just uh, we were just we were pretty much family. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like like family. We just looking out for each other. Exactly. You know, it, no, it really wasn't no yeah no type of gang type. You know. But see, the thing about it is, when we ran the streets, and that's what I want to talk about. It's like, man, the difference between when we ran the streets in our era versus you know the streets today in this era. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> would we have would would we have survived in this era? You know, I'm talking about of of uh of street stuff. You know, I'm talking about when we ran the streets, bro. We we I, we had a different code. And that's the main reason why I don't feel like we would survive in this era. It, it, there's no code. Ain't no like, code, like bro. I mean, like like with in in our time, bro. When we was out there in the streets doing what a lot of these, these you know these guys these cats out here doing now. Yeah, it was a. We might not have liked the person, but it was a, a mutual respect to the point we didn't let we didn't allow ourselves to drop so low to the point we do, you know, stuff that was green. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. like we we like that, and that's one of the reasons why I say we wouldn't survive because our code would be the reason we get killed. Right. The reason why you know that will that would ultimately you know lead to our demise. Yeah, the fact that we expect. Even though we got a problem or issue, yeah, in certain situations we'll put that to the side. Like right. we saw you with your wife or your kids or your, and stuff. You know, yeah. it, you you got it this time. 
You know, you get a pass this time. But nowadays, man. Nowadays, no. Buddy cats try to whack you while you holding your while baby. You holding your, your baby, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just and that's why I say cats like us, you know, we, yeah. we gotta adjust to where we at right now. We can't we can't keep that same that same energy we had back then. We gotta adjust. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's it's different out here these days, bro. Like and we it was there was actually rules. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I say. That's the code. The rules is pretty yeah. much the code. But like and honestly, man, I really, me personally, I really ain't worried about adjusting because I don't live that lifestyle like that no more. And I, I really just be trying to stay out the way because right. with me personally, <clears throat> excuse me, with me personally, with these with these new cats out here now, if you get into it with them, bro, you got to take it all the way there. Oh yeah, you got to take, you got to max out you on. You got to be ready and willing. You know what I'm saying? Take because about to take it, yeah. There's no such thing as a confrontation and it's over with. You know. Right, you know, it, 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 you know, you can't, you can't do that. That's why I just really try to stay out the way. Yeah, because I know how. Yeah. I'm still the same old nine, but you know what I'm saying. I just, I'm just wiser now. <clears throat> right, you know what I'm saying. So exactly. Yeah, you. I, I mean, you wiser. You got man. You, you know, you married yeah, with, you with got, kids, bro. Yeah. Like you're a family man. Like, yeah, you know. What I'm you know saying? So well, you like, know, and when we get to a certain age, it's like man, you know, we we grown men now. Mm, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we, and then you know, it's kind of like. With these new cats, that like I said, they don't got no code. The yeah. stuff that we thought, you know, made them look like females back in the day, they whole yeah. clique glorify that. Like mm. the whole, oh, I ain't doing no fight. I, I'm, 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 I'm popping them. You know what I'm right. saying? I'm, right. I'm gonna blow them down. You know what I'm saying? And then right. you know, back in our time, if the gun came out in a one on one, bro, you know what I'm saying? You was the soft one out, out the whole, out the whole <laughs> yeah. deal. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? So it's like nowadays, like the like the tides and turn. You know what I'm saying? Like your homeboys backing you up with that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like they don't see no problem with you saying that. Basically admitting that you scared of a fight. Right. You rather shoot than fight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you know. That's true. That's true. Cause I mean, cause we took pride in just like straight whooping somebody. Like you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. Because we, you, you know you, we kept we pretty it much that got, We weren't trying to take nobody life. The thing yet. about it, man. You know, man, man to man, hand to hand, come back back then with the code we had, bro. You like got bragging rights. It, it mattered. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it, it, it's just like now though. You may find somebody that'll fight. Yeah. But if you beat them, you still might end up losing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So on right. the top end, so it's it's right. kind of like yeah, we live in crazy times now, man. Yeah, it's it's kind of like you know. <clears throat> Uh, I think, and I think we talked about this in uh, another episode, uh, previous episode that, you know, back then, it, you know, we fought, and if and if I lost, it's cool. You gotta see me again, and yeah. we gonna fight again yeah. until I get my dub. You know what I'm talking about? Or at least and, until and, I get yeah, tired of yeah, fighting yeah, you. Until I you get know? tired of fighting you, but it, it still wasn't crossing nobody's mind to shoot this person, or you know, what I'm saying go get a gun or nothing like that at all, man. We just you know what I'm talking about like we we just gonna. Hey, may the best man win. And if you beat me, then you got to see me again. That's your, that's your even, what that is. You know? Or even if you don't have to see me again, you might beat me, but you're going to respect me enough to be like, you know what? Yeah. Man, it's old. I'm squeezing. That, 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 that wasn't no easy. That, you know what I'm you know talking about? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's to the point yeah. where, and then, you know, it was a time where, no lie, we didn't had guns. Yeah, and told our homeboy, man, hold my strap. Let me <clears throat> let me fade this nigga right quick. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like you exactly. don't get that no more. You don't get that no more. No. You know what I'm no, saying? No. If any if anything now, when he get beat up, his partner trying to hand him a gun. <laughs> right. You, you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> well, they, well, they tell you now. See, it's so reversed because back then, if you pulled a pistol out back then, you was weak. But nowadays, yeah. if you don't pull a pistol, you weak. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? If you don't pull out and shoot. You know what I'm talking about? Like it's so <laughs> it's so reverse back then, man. So, you know, if uh you know, if somebody if somebody jumped one of us, if somebody jumped one of ours, then we gonna come back and jump one of yours. Yeah. Uh, you know I what I'm mean, talking about? Uh, either... Or you know, if you if if it's a one on one fight, a one on one fight was actually a one on one fight back yeah. then. It wasn't yeah, no definitely. nobody jumping in from east side. Mm-mm, mm-mm. It, we had a lot of mutual respect between crews back then. So yeah. and we talked about it before. Before before it, it all went down, hey, listen, we just asked that it be a one on one fight. Yeah, between, you know, know what I'm saying? Between your your guy 
our guy. Just let it be a one on one fight, man. No, no jumping in from no other crews. And that way, you know, that way, and and it's dead after that. Yeah, both sides agreed to that, and after that. We left it alone. With it, however it turned out, it was yeah. over with. You know what I'm saying? May the best man win. And it, you know what I'm saying? It was over from them. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, <laughs> you it, know, it, it was over from them. But you know what I'm saying? About, but these days, you know, the whole crew got the swing. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, bro, <laughs> you know these, what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like you can get killed now if you make them feel played, bro. It's yeah, over with. Yeah, exactly. Like you can exactly. actually like if you check one of these guys nowadays. It's gonna probably get real serious. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. Like yeah. back in the day, we could check somebody in front of they in front of they people. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And it, and it is what it is. It what it is. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it mean it, either you, either you gonna swing on me or we gonna we gonna look box and walk away in the end. Right. You know what I'm saying? However that may go. And we still gonna have our lives. We gonna yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the thing yeah. about it is now you gotta kind of play these guys like they kids. You gotta. Call him to the side and talk to him man to man. So he don't feel you trying to make sure he don't feel like you trying to play him in I'm front of people. Play him, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly. back then we ain't care nothing about that. We see you with that. your people, we gonna let you know how we felt about yeah. you. Yeah. And if you wanna if you yeah. wanna get grimy with it, we'll get down and dirty yeah. with it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. so it's like these cats now, nah, boy, they ain't they feeling so deep. And man, I, I remember the last the last uh fight that I got in. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The last major fight I got in was, man, years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I had a fight in the projects, <clears throat> and you know, and it was a one on one fight. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm talking about you, and and one of the other homies was there. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm talking about, and we was all strapped. Yeah, but it was a fight though. We had that. You know what I'm saying we had we had some in the trunk that day. I remember. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm talking about, but it was no need for it to come out. You know, what I'm saying because both sides respected. Each, you know, what I'm saying yeah. both sides respected each other. And and we all let it be a one on one fight because the issue between was between me and this guy. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm talking about. So and, and it was a one on one fight. Made the best man win. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Ain't nothing have to come out both sides. But you, you, know, you know what though, man? Like back, like back then compared to now, is the fact that these guys nowadays, when it comes to being in beef with somebody, they have no bounds. They had no boundaries right. or nothing. Like, back then, we had a boundary. Yeah. Like, if it started out an argument, it probably going to lead to a fight. Lead to a fight, yeah. yeah. And, and then, like, yeah. and the thing about it was that it never escalated past the point of a fight because we going right. to deal with it right then and there. Yeah. We ain't finna, we not going to keep going and going on and on to the point we hate each other guts to the right. point we want to see you dead. Right. We're going to get to the point where we're going to want to punch you in your mouth right quick and see if you really about everything you was just talking about. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because ain't nothing like that. Yeah. For, for us, knocking yeah. the fire out, some, knocking the fire out somebody. It who, meant something. It meant something. Yeah. Yeah. When you when yeah. you knock a dude out and then that everybody thought was bad yeah. and he no longer want to fight nobody, the, the people who the people who was getting bullied, now right. bullying him. Right. That meant something. Right. Because once you show somebody, man, this guy ain't who y'all think he is. Yeah. He got y'all scared. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, it, but nowadays you don't even get that opportunity because, you, you, you know, you you're know. always going to go to that pistol play. Always. Always. And, I, and I'm just saying, though, like, <clears throat> what you think the reason for that is? You know what I'm saying? Why, why are people so quick to go to guns these days instead of, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, instead of, instead of just, you know what I'm saying, fighting it out. You know what I'm saying? Why, why are people so quick to just, you know what I'm saying, to just, just blow your top off? You know, somebody instead of just you know what I'm saying handling handling it like men, you know, yeah, somebody it all, like, it all falls down to like we say, it all falls down to accountability. Accountability, okay. Yeah, nobody okay. holding nobody holding they ho- nobody holding their homeboys accountable no more. Yeah, and, and they all yeah. yes men. Right, that's true. They all, that's you know, true. You know, instead of somebody saying, "Nah, man, you don't need no gun for him," that nigga weak. Right. Man, you'll beat him all the way up. You know right. what I'm saying? Even back then, if we if we thought our homeboy, if we knew our homeboy was beefing with somebody, in our head, we might thought to ourselves, "Boy, that's a big dude. You about to get, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. But we're still like, man, y'all, we, <clears throat> nah, bro, I think you'll take him. Right. He big for no reason. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, these guys here, these days, bro, like. it was. I think it was back, back in those days was all about beating the best person. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, if you if, if you want to be the best, you got to beat the beat best. The best. You know what I'm saying, and and we want to, and we want to, we want to beat the best people. We didn't want to beat up on nobody weak. We want to beat up on the best kind of people, the people who y'all feel the steppers. Yeah. Oh, this this person here'll step, he'll step, he'll step. Okay, well we're going to see if he'll step. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If if the person came in, that's the right. If the person was, you know what I'm saying? But I can, we just got a kick out of just whooping somebody. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? I mean, it's just like, fight, bro. Just versus, I mean, versus just uh, shooting somebody. I mean, it's yeah. like we, back then, bro, it took, if, if somebody shot at you. Yeah. You took it to a whole nother level. Yeah. To get to get to that point. Because back then, right. like, the, the, the thing that, the, like, what would get you probably shot back then was putting your hands on somebody's mama, sister. Grandma, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. Talking, you know, bringing some drama to the house <clears throat> when it right. happened in the streets. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like stuff exactly. like that. A person, we'll probably try to go and get you out the way because you yeah. a problem. Yeah, we got people we love out here, and you a problem. We got to get you out the way. But nowadays, yeah. nowadays everybody need to get everybody evidently a problem and, and trying to get each other out the way. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like I said, these guys don't got no code. They'll come shoot your mama high or so. <laughs> Like you yeah. can, like back in the day, man. Yeah. We can have That's beef crazy. with you. Like back in the day, we can have beef with you, and we might know where your mama live, but we'll never we take it there. Never take the it The furthest down. we, the furthest I have ever gone to something like that is knocking on somebody's door and telling them to come Tell outside. Come outside yep. But I have never rode by somebody's mama house and shot it up. Yeah, I never even thought about. We never even thought that. about that. We that was that wasn't even thought of back when we was we was running them streets, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't about no shooting no mom shooting your mama house up with with your parents in your house, and it wasn't about no shooting no little kids. Like, up, I would, I would, it wasn't about no none of that, bro. Our like, thought process didn't even think that far nah, ahead. Nah, we didn't think that far ahead. The beef we was in, it just it just like, bro. Yeah, I tell you what, come on out the door. We just we, want, we, we come we, we, we knock on your door, act like we your friend. And, yeah. And, <laughs> hey, hey, man, Johnson, yeah. is, is is Tim here? Yeah. <laughs> Can he come outside, Can he come and, play? outside and play? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, bro. You don't know. We, we, we finna beat him up bad if he come outside. You know what I'm saying? We finna beat the brakes off of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, these cats, these days, bro. They Everybody. Not, they, they'll shoot your mama house up. They'll, you know what I'm saying? They don't care. You got kids and none of that up in the house, man. They'll just. They don't care. They'll shoot it up. Ain't no cold. They'll yeah, shoot your car up. They'll do all that, bro. Don't know like, if you got babies in there. Don't know if you got babies up in there. They don't care if you got babies. Babies up in yeah. there, and, and, you know. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like just like you said back in the day, we would give you a pass if we saw you with your child, your you girl. know, somebody or, or your lady or somebody. You know what I'm saying? That's important to you. I right, will give him a pass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because he walking with his he walking with his little son, and he walking with his little walk daughter, with his family. Him. Period. Or he walking with. You know what I'm saying? We'll give him a pass. We just the only thing that would the only you know thing that saying? the only thing that pretty much. Wouldn't save you, but probably could save you. Is when you walking with your homeboy, we didn't care nothing about that. We ain't care nothing about you. Yeah, your homeboy, we care about that. It's on. If now they want to jump in this and try to save you, then oh well. Right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know because that was part. That, you know that's what it was. Right. The only thing really spared got you spared was when you with your family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like your yeah. kids, your girl, and your kids, and y'all walking to the park or y'all at the park. You know, family day or something. We we, we just. I don't know. I, I think mm-hmm. we just had conscience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, was, we were very <clears> conscious <throat> of what was of what we was doing and what. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These kids, these guys, these days, bro, it's like, yeah, it's like they, it's like they don't mind crashing out, throwing their life away to prove how real they is right. to somebody that's gonna forget them when they're gone. Exactly, man. Boy, you just said a mouthful, boy. You know, like you just said a mouthful. That's it's, just what it is. It's just kind of like you know what I'm saying when men, <clears throat> when a man kills another, kills another man over a woman. <laughs> See. It's another thing, man. We didn't kill like women was it was nothing back then. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, whatever. We pass them around. It don't matter. Yeah, I mean, you know like, what I'm saying? Like, if you if you if you smashing my gal, all right, cool. But no, I'm not but we never you, not for to kill you over it. We that's we never we we never took pride in fighting over I, no female. Nah, bro. I mean, I mean, granted, yeah, you had guys that did it. You know I, what I'm I ain't saying? Never follow no female. I mean, me neither. But I'm just saying, like, never. You, you got some guys. Nah, nah, that if you, would, nah, if you want to fight me because you felt like you can handle me. Yeah, yeah. We could do that, but I'm not. I, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't, I didn't have people off them. Like, man, let's let's do it, man. You, man, I see you talking to my girl, man. I see you talk. Look, bro, I'm not finna fight you over no female, bro. Mm-hmm. But now, if you want to fight me because you feel like you can handle me, we could do that. If you saying that, then we can go fight right now. Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> talking about? But. Over no over a female, bro. I'm not finna fight you over no female, bro. Nah, I'm good. Cause I mean, at the end of the day, bro. Yeah. Back, back but then. nowadays, these negroes oh, yeah. will kill you. Oh yeah. And but they'll, they'll put you they'll, six feet under over. They'll a female. kill you, go to jail, and then the chick be with somebody. Yeah. Else. 
Yeah. You know, like back, like back, back when we was younger and we was coming up and we experienced that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, you smashing my girl? Okay. He got a sister. Yeah. Let's see who care more about who smashing what. If you find I'm smashing your sister, we just gonna go smash somebody you love. <laughs> you know what we I mean? gonna find somebody you love. You know, and uh, we gonna get them. Yeah. Or you know, or you find out, or they find out the hard way that she ain't nothing. Because guess right. what? When you smashed her and then y'all thought y'all was together, she <clears> doubled <throat> back and gave it to me. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's how it works. You know what I'm saying? She went. She just. She just got what she could get. Yeah. You wanted to make her your girlfriend, but I'm that one guy she's still vulnerable for. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Every time y'all get mad, she double back and give me some. Yep. So it's kind of like, yep. why? Why are we going to beef over that? Yeah. Why am I going to kill you or take your life over that? You know what I'm talking about? We understood it was plenty more of the females out here who wanted us. You know what I'm talking about? We could, they, you know what I'm saying, more of a variety to choose from. So... It's, man, it's never. It's always gonna why be. When it comes gonna, to, why am I gonna kill you over? Uh, you know what I'm saying over that man. That's and, and just you know ruin the rest of my life over over that. Yeah, bro. Like I said, it all hey, boils down it, to it's, the. It's <clears> all, it all boils down to these guys not having no type of code. For one thing, man. Time, everybody, bro. For one thing, these 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 cats these they they don't have no OGs. They don't got nobody yeah, to bring no law and order. Yeah, we no have OGs structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, they ain't got no structure. Yeah. Yeah. We you had we, we yeah we had big homies growing up. We had the yeah. OGs growing up to yeah. tell us, you know what I'm saying, to lead us. And bro, chill it. out on that. That, yeah. that, that ain't, that ain't what what saying. bro. You, yeah, you, y'all 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 need going that hot boy stuff. You know, yeah. we, then we ain't even, we ain't doing that. Wrong. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it make you feel like, dang. You know what I'm saying, dude. Cause you, cause nine times ten, when somebody told you that, it was somebody you wanted to hang around. Yep. Or you wanted <laughs> yep. to be like. Yep. And so now you feel like, man, they ain't pleased with that. Yep. That was stupid. I probably don't need to do that no more. And it kind of it, it broke you, right? Into a point where you felt like, okay, that ain't that ain't no G, that ain't no G move right there doing right, that. That's, right. Now they frown upon that. You know what I'm saying? But now yeah. everything go, everything go. They don't follow the rules. You know what I'm saying? Even even with gang culture, bro. Back then, you know what I'm saying in gang culture, we had rules. We had we had to. You know what I'm saying? We had OGs. We had to. We had to. Uh, Answer to back then, mm-hmm. you know what I'm talking about. But now, you know what I'm saying they just they don't listen to the OG, they don't listen to the older generation, man. Like you know to say, hey man, that's you know they gonna get y'all life in prison, bro. That ain't what this is about, man. Man, that old nigga, what the old nigga? T- you know what I'm yeah, saying, bro? Yeah, like, that, bro, that, 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 that how they look. You know how thing. I live to be the old nigga? Yeah, <laughs> by not doing what you doing, not doing what you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, shoot, that's how you live to be the old that's nigga. They're telling a the new yeah. nigga, hey, bro, you need to chill out. You know right. what I'm saying? So exactly. it's kind of like, exactly. don't get me wrong, I done done some foolish stuff. Oh yeah, we I done all shot have. guns. I done done yeah. all kind of stuff. Oh yeah, but at the end of the day, you know, like. For us, we still had that structure. We oh, still yeah. had that that structure that, oh, that yeah. kept us rooted. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like yeah. these guys, these days, bro, like anything goes. Anything goes, bro. Ain't nothing too low. No. No. If you know, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? Even if it's even if it's blowing your blowing your 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 your, your grandma your grandma and granddad house up with them hmm. in it. Hmm. Hey, anything goes. You but know like what I'm saying? Though, like, that's why. Don't, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's shooting your car up and you got your you got your toddler child in the car with you. Yeah, bro. I know. And if your toddler gets shot up, then oh well. That's mm-hmm. a badge of honor for these dudes these days, man. You know what I'm talking about? Times are different, bro. Yeah, bro. That's why I just stay out of the way. Stay out of the way, man. Just... I stay out of the way because I know me. I know yeah. I know I know how far I'm willing to take it. Yeah. Knowing who I'm dealing knowing the type of people I'm dealing with in this day and age. Right. You got to stay out of the way when you go to a limit that you know they ain't prepared to go to. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of yeah. like, if me now, yeah, me now, being in, being dealing with, you know, this generation of, of people that we deal with these days, mm. I would think the me back then, that kind of aggression that I had wouldn't have been enough for one, the time we in right now. Right. What people thought about me back then, thought, you know about my like me being bad, me doing this, me doing right. that. Yeah, I don't think that would have been good enough if if it would have been this time right here. Right. Because with the way these cats move, I didn't have that kind of aggression in me to push the limit and, and, and push the envelope like they do today. Right. Basically, I had some some integrity to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though I did a lot of stuff. Right. Which these guys don't. They seem to lack all that. Right. So it's kind of like yeah. they have no limits. 
to how right. far they'll go when I did. Yeah, I did some stupid stuff, but I still had my limits to yeah, how stupid I'm going to go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. So, so right. you know what I'm saying? Right. That's why I say now me, now... I try to stay out of the way because I know if you get into it when they do, you got to take it all the way there. You got, you got to be because prepared if you to. if you have step, you may not get the step again. Right. You know, so <clears> that's, that's why I, that's why that's I work. True. You know, I hit the I hit the I hit the lab and we cook up these episodes. Yeah. And you know we chill out together, but I try to stay out the way. Yeah. Same here. You know. Same here. You know, what I'm saying I'm older. I'm I'm a lot older, wiser. You know, to my like I'm a married man. Now. I got I'm a family man, bro. I got kids. Yeah. I got I got whole kids. I I just had a newborn. Yeah. You know, my so it's like, man, I got, I got stuff to lose now. And that's the thing, I was just finna say, you took it right out my mind. I got mind. stuff to lose, bro. That's the so thing. it's like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just can't do that, and I can't be out here doing no dumb ish now. You know what I'm yeah, talking about? Like, yeah. I can't do that. I'm just telling my wife this. Mm-hmm. I said, man, I just can't. You know, so as I'm holding my newborn and I'm looking at my other son, and you know I'm talking about like, or you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, man, I got my daughter too. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, look. I just this is why right here I just can't be out here doing no no dumb ish man and being getting getting locked up in in prison and being away being away from my family I can't I can't I can't deal with another man you know what I'm saying landing landing bed next to my woman I yeah. can't I can't stand the thought of another man going into my refrigerator and drinking up all my chocolate milk you know what I mean you know what I'm talking about tell him another man tell him my key is what to do I can't yeah. I can't I can't bear the thought of that bro. I just can't, bro. I'm sorry. It ain't, man. it ain't so much for that. I can't. Me. Like, like for me, my whole thing is, <clears throat> like, my kid, my kids, like, I, don't, I feel like I'm responsible for them. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm the protector. Right. I'm all of that. So if I do, I don't even care nothing about like, you know, like, yeah, I love my wife and everything, but I don't, yeah. even, I don't like me not, not me not crashing out doing crazy stuff. Right. Off impulses. Yeah. Really, she don't play that huge of a part in that. Mm-hmm. Me knowing that I'm leaving my kids unprotected if I go to prison play majority of the part. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because I, I'm, I, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm solely responsible for their well being. Exactly. As a father. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah. Like yeah. women go and come. And yeah. Let's just face it. It is what it is. True. Just That's like true. men go and come. Just like men come and so go. So, if, yep. if, like, <clears throat> So me having on my mind like another man being in my house, no, that don't that don't that don't stop me. That's not enough to stop me from doing something crazy. What stops me from doing anything crazy is knowing that I don't I'm not out of here on the streets to protect my, my loved ones, right. to protect my kids. Right. They can't call on me when they get into something because I'm locked up behind bars or dead. Right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like the whole concept of another man being in the house, that's small beans with me. Yeah. Because if me and my wife break up, another man gonna be in the house. Right. So that True. so then True. that won't be enough to keep me on the streets. True. I need to have some more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which yeah. is my me, me being out so I can make sure my kids good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Because your kids gonna need their daddy. Yeah, for sure. Because you know what I'm saying? Because we and I think that we have to once we learn how how important how important fathers are. Mm-hmm. I think and this is my opinion. Um, and what I've seen and what I've experienced, I think that the most that the most when it comes to the home, I think that the most important yet the most the most important role yet unappreciated and disrespected role in the house is the role of the husband slash father. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think that's a role that's overlooked. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because um, <clears throat> the mama is focused on a lot. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But, man, that father plays a, a significant role in the house because the father, you know, brings that law and order. The mm-hmm. father brings that discipline. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? The structure that the, that your kids are going to need for to go out here and live life and be successful in life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I feel I feel like <clears throat> once society understands, you know, how, how, how important, you know what I'm saying, the father is to their kids and how much kids gravitate to their fathers. Mm-hmm. No matter how much you know, what I'm saying because no matter how much I discipline my son, my son still he wouldn't be all up on his daddy. He yeah, yeah, love his daddy, yeah. and he and whenever he see his daddy walk out the door, I mean, you know, you know, what yeah, saying? Yeah, saying whenever yeah, he see, see his, he be yeah, up. whenever he see his daddy walk out the door, <laughs> he cutting um he cutting all the way up because yeah. he don't want to see me go nowhere. But at the same time, I be disciplining his little boy. You know what I'm saying? Look here, little boy. Hey, mm-hmm. sit down. Well, I put that switch on him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, because you know what I'm saying, it's like this is I I feel like, you know what I'm saying, kids, 
you know, kids have to know I'm shaping them up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? For what he's going to be in life. But if I'm if I'm out here in the streets doing stupid stuff. You ain't doing none of that. I can't. Yeah. I can't discipline. I can't shape him. That's how That's how I'm going to shape my child by disciplining mm-hmm. him. And showing him, you know what I'm saying, teaching him right from wrong. Because a woman can't teach that. You know what I'm saying? There's some things that a woman can't teach. You know what I'm saying? That only a man can, can you know what I'm saying, can teach that. Can bring I mean, well, I wouldn't necessarily say it like that. I mean, because uh, my mom raised me. Pretty much, my dad, you know, rest his soul. I love him to death. You know, mm-hmm. we we pretty. He wasn't like my dad wasn't always in my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So my dad, my dad really didn't look like I had. I had uncles. I had yeah, my same cousin here. Henry. Same you know, here. pretty much yep. helped me <clears throat> along the way as a, as a young man. Yeah. So it's kind of like my mom really did do all the teaching the right from wrong, along with a whole village of, of family members so i can't say that a woman can't teach a, a child right from wrong or shape them but my thing is i feel like kids know how far to go with a with a, with their with their mothers than they would go with their fathers. right so and yeah. then, i mean and, and and i'm seeing it time and time again where the mama do all the screaming in the house. Y'all go sit down. Go do this. Go do that. Blah blah blah. Right. Blah blah blah. Right. Oh, y'all drive me crazy. Then the man come through. Hey, y'all get y'all butt in there and sit down. Yeah, it's see, over with. I said, but one time it's over with. Whole house get quiet. And that just goes to show you the importance <laughs> of having a male figure in the house. In the house. Yeah. It may not even be their biological father, but somebody who play a father role. Or play that father role. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. You know, like 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 I was That's saying true. though. Yeah, I wouldn't say a woman couldn't That's do true. it, but kids gonna always try to push the envelope with their mama. With their mama. You know that they saying? don't push with it's, with, it's with, something nah, it's, different about daddy. Cause you look at your dad hands. Daddy you look way. at your dad hands. Them hands big. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Your, your dad yeah. masculine. Your dad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's kind of like, you know, I don't know. You, you, it's just, it's just, a, it's just a natural understanding. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Like I can't explain yeah. it, but it's, it's just like, like, it's a, like it's an a, unspoken uh, rule. Yeah. It's like you know what I'm saying. Unspoken. You know what I'm saying. Understanding. Yeah. You know. Hey. Hey, you know, look at mama hands. Right. Now look at daddy hands. Look at daddy. And you know how mama hand hurt when she hit you on the butt. Yeah. Now let daddy now do let it with daddy them hands. Them bust up car working knuckles and all yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's gonna hurt. Yeah. You know it's what I'm saying? It's gonna hurt so, when daddy do it. <laughs> and, and, and like, like kids, like yeah, yeah, the father gonna play a, a very important role. Yeah. And like I said, but go back to what we were talking about. That's one of the reasons you need to, you know, stay out the way. Stay out the way, man. That's what I do. Stay out the way. I literally go to work. I go home, bro. The only thing I can honestly say, the only thing that'll make me throw it all away is my kids and my wife. Not saying some guy sleeping with my wife uh, or whatever that's going to make me. No, I'm saying like like, like if a guy genuinely try to hurt my wife, wife. it's over. It's over. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? I ain't fighting over. Like I said, I love my wife, but I'm not going to fight over her. Same here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. None of that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, if 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 her if she in danger, then yeah, I I throw it all away. Of course. But as far as just foolishness, nah. Right. So like my family is the only thing that'll pretty much make me just crash out like these cats be doing these days. Right. But anything else, bro, it ain't worth it. Cause I got too much yeah. to lose. These cats be crashing out over stupid. Oh, yeah. just over stupid, over dumb ish, bro. Just hmm. you know what I'm talking about? Because you stepped on their shoes or cause you Looked at them wrong, you know what I'm saying? Like they be crashing out. Oh right? man, you just let me think about something. I was, I was headed to work the other morning. One guy pulled in. One guy was okay. It was a car at the gas pump. Mm-hmm. This in Daphne. <clears throat> it was a car at the gas pump already. Okay. So one car pulled in the front of that car, and another car pulled behind it. Okay. And when the dude left from the gas pump, the car that was behind it pulled up to the parking spot. So the guy that was in the other car facing, you know, the other the the, the opposite direction. Yeah. He jumps out. They get into an argument. Mm. One guy talking about smoking the other dude. Mm. It never got to that, but it just it just showed me how fast these guys are, are just, you know, <clears throat> how fast these guys are just elevate a situation somewhere they didn't really have to go. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Keep in mind. Keep in mind. All he had to do was bag up and bag back into the pump he was just at. Because basically his gas tank was just on the opposite side of the car. Right. All that would have been avoided. But he felt some type of way because they both was waiting and the other guy just pulled up. Mm. 
You know, so it, it just goes to show you, bro, like, things can happen in, in the blink of an eye over some eye. petty stuff. Over something petty, yeah. Like I said, all he had to do was just bag up and turn and turn the car around. Yeah. Wow. I done done that same thing plenty of times. I'd have been waiting on the parking spot and somebody pull up. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll bag up and go to the other side. Yeah. True. You yeah. live to tell that story. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? True. So it's crazy, bro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's certain things you, it's just certain things that just, that just ain't worth a confrontation. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if, you know, if, if you know what I'm saying? If, so, if, if I'm at, if I'm sitting at a red light and it turned green, but my head's still down and they blow and they honk the horn to let me know the light is green. Just drive off. Drive off. I'm not finna turn around. Oh, f you, 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 you ain't. Yeah, you I'm finna just drive <laughs> off. For what? What am I gonna say something to him for? I'm in the wrong. I should have been paying attention. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna hold myself accountable. You know what I'm saying? Like Negro, you should have been paying attention. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I'm not finna just sit around and just say something to him because of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm good, bro. I'm good on that, man. So. Yeah, man. But um, so, what would, what would be your 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 final piece of advice, man? For um, for for young for okay for this generation, man. Um, and you have you know young boys in this generation because I feel like you know society is um, I don't know, man. Society is a, is a, is a man's enemy, you know. Today, you know what I'm saying because society tears down our men. Especially our young black men, you know what I'm saying, and and um, uh, the the future of the the future of the prison system is based on kids starting from the third grade. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? So, so when when kids are in the third grade, especially young boys, young black boys, you know what I'm saying? When they're in the third grade, bro, if if their parents are not there for them, or if they get called to te- parent teacher conferences, and they parents don't, they already label them and say, oh, he he gonna be in prison, dead or in prison. You know what I'm saying? So so it's like it's set up for us to fail. It's set up for, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, so the streets, it's like it's designed for the streets to, to, to for them to be on the streets so they can be locked up in jail. You know what I'm saying? Because we know, we know how, how jail and prison works. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You have to have people in there. Jail and prisons are like hotels. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? If nobody is there to fill those rooms, they don't make money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, but... What would you say to that young boy to to to, to stay off, out of jail, to stay out of that type of thing? First off, I'm gonna say this. As and I'm and I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say this because I didn't been through it already. Yeah, as a child. Yeah, I'm gonna say this. <clears throat> it doesn't matter what the school say, what society says. You know, at the end of the day, parenting is the different. It's the different maker. How your how your child gonna come up? Because let's I mean even though we all know every child soon goes his own route or her own route despite what they were raised to be or taught to do and not do. Okay. Okay. But okay. you got that's the first step. You gotta have good parenting. You gotta have you gotta have role models in your life first of all. Right. That's the first. That's the first step. Not saying that's gonna be the sole step to to make you successful and keep you out of jail, but Without that, you definitely gonna end up in one of them places that they're in jail. Mm. You know, Cause, okay. I mean, so not saying that <clears throat> you know that's gonna stop you from doing what you're gonna do and it's gonna keep you out of jail, but you got a higher chance of doing something positive with the right kind of you know yeah. mentoring. Right. So that that's the first thing you got to make sure the parent parents got to make sure they stay on their kids. Okay. Quit okay. when people try to tell you about your kids. Stop saying what your kids don't do. Quit mm. acting like your child just a baby. Cause I was once thought of as just a baby, but I'm out here toting guns and shooting. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, <laughs> yeah, and, and so true. I got firsthand experience on that. That's true. So that's I true. can take my own advice with my kids. Yeah. And, and when they when somebody come tell me, hey man, I saw your child though. You know he got a gun. He got smoking smoking weed. I'm not finna just push that out. Nah, AJ ain't doing that. Right. Not my baby, not, not, no, not, no, not, no, not, not, not my baby, not my not baby. My no, baby. I'm gonna check on that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna yeah. run down on him about everything people say, but I'm gonna keep a closer eye on him, right? And see and see, you know, what kind of patterns and and tendencies he have, right? You know what I'm saying? So that's the thing, right there. Parenting, right. parenting. You know, keep an eye on your kids. Yeah. See what see what they friends like. Yeah. See who they hanging out with, and so and like and as for these cats. 
you know, nowadays, bro, like, the best thing you can do is separate yourself from people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we all got homeboys. Mm. We all got this. But the moment you feel yourself want to go in this direction and you find yourself saying, man, if I go in this direction, we might not even hang out no more. Yeah. If it gets yeah. to a point where you get to thinking like that, that means you ready to grow. Mm. And you holding yourself back right. because you don't want to lose these friends. Right. But if these guys your friend, you growing, going to motivate them to grow. They're going to want to follow you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So That's good. So it's like. That's good. <clears throat> So it's okay. like the moment you find yourself, because everybody, like, we all eventually evolve. Yep, we do. The older so, we get, the more we evolve. Yeah. So it's like eventually it's going to come a time, just like for me, just like for you, it's going to come a time where these <clears> guys are <throat> going to find themselves at a crossroad. Right. Yep. They're going to want to, they, 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 they spirit going to want to take them in another direction. Right. In a better direction. Yep. yep. But the people around them, Right. Pretty much going to always be a ball and chain or, or going to be a, a decision that they're going to have to make. If I go this way. Yeah. You this know what I'm saying? They might not even want to come or they might they might just start hanging with me. I might look like a squad of them. Right, right. But then again, you going that way might help them change the way they live. Because mm. the thing about it is, like, I think the thing about that kind of stuff is that a lot of these guys nowadays, they actually want to be something different. They do. But, Nobody want to be the first person to take the step to go that way because they don't want to be the eyeball. Mm. You know what mm. I'm saying? You might have 10 people in a group. Yeah. Five want to branch out and do something <clears throat> other than game banging all day. Right. Yeah. But yeah. in that in that five that want to do it, who want to be the first person to do it and, and just wait not knowing what everybody else is going to do? Right. You know what I'm saying? So mm. it's kind of like when you get to that point, when you got to juggle your friends over your growth, you got to break free from them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If they truly your friends, you're going to motivate them. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's so that's so good. that's the main thing <clears throat> that I say. Separate yourself, yeah. you know what I'm saying, from that's from good. negative vibes, basically. Yeah, that's good. You know, and if y'all meant to be cool or how that's going to be, y'all going to still be that. Y'all going to still be that. Yeah. You know? Man, that's... <laughs> Hey, man, he said it all, folks. He said it all, man. On that <laughs> note, hey, we're going to get up out of here, man. Hey, once again, hit that like button, that subscribe button, that notification bell. If you want to donate to the to the channel, to the podcast, all the information will be in the description box below. And, um, hey, till next time, y'all, we gone.